To celebrate dive bars and the 100th anniversary of the ice cream bar, alcohol-infused ice cream maker Tipsy Scoop, partnering with Miller High Life, yes, really, to create, wait for it, the ice cream dive bar. Tipsy Scoop says a peanut swirl brings the quintessential dive bar snack. And yes, there's also a hint of tobacco and gooey caramel swirl to incorporate the distinct sticky dive bar floor. Does that make you hungry? Does no, that it make does not. I was actually going to say, water? before we came back from break, I was actually like, wow, this looks pretty good. After that description, Rochelle, I think you're pretty <laughs> lucky that you're not in studio right now about to taste this thing. I will say most things Tipsy Scoop makes sound delightful with oh, ingredients yeah. that just make True. your mouth water. I think this one they were having here. a little bit of fun with, with the beer that is not exactly on the top shelf, but a very dive bar-esque beer, Miller High Life, but it looks like, it's, really looks like it's a little too frozen. <laughs> <laughs> we never get things out of the freezer in time. I was like, it's chocolate all over and too. Um, well, you think of losing a tooth in a bar, that, that happens sometimes, so maybe does, that's on brand. In fact, <laughs> taste like beer. And not the great kind of beer, like, oh. you know, no, no disrespect. Miller High Life is not genuinely the one I reach for. Oh, it does. I would not put this high on my list of summer no, treats. No, but honestly, after that description that you read, it really exceeded my expectations. <laughs> so certainly not at the top of the list. I think if there are other selections out there, I would opt for those, but not nearly as bad as I was bracing myself for. We had a Velveeta I mean, I martini that genuinely didn't taste like Velveeta cheese, but this really tastes like tastes beer and like Michelle. Beer. 5% alcohol in each dive bar. I say if you're going to do it, do it. If you're, if you're going to make beer-flavored ice cream, you know, go for it. And I will say the description was off-putting when, you know, like the pictures of, like, you know, the nuts sort of, like, sprinkled all over the floor. And I don't, I don't know if I want to eat something that tastes like a dive bar floor, but... Never. I mean, look, they're doing something interesting. It's creative, you know, it's something different to try while it's hot outside, so why not? I don't know, we're both sitting here saying it's not really living up to our expectations. Neither of us has stopped eating it during this entire segment. Well, it's still ice so cream that, yeah, and alcohol. Yeah. I really do think they stuck the landing on, though. It does feel a little dive bar -y. and I'm headed to a ball game, so this gets me right well, there you go. in the correct mood. Gets you in the mood. All right, everyone might have to go out and at least try this, but that does it for us today.